I don't talk about like a lot of personal stuff on stage just because like I think there are a lot of people that sort of do that and like I always feel like I'm actually like quite a private guy so like like I don't talk about sex much because like I don't want to say too much but like that comes from life experience <laughs> and uh, I don't want to tell you guys too much information but you can count everyone I've ever had sex with on one hand even if you had like a horrible threshing accident at a mill you can probably still count <laughs> Um, even when someone tried phone sex on me last year, it did not work. Someone tried phone sex, like I picked up the phone. The problem is, this lady called me at four o'clock in the morning on a weekday. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, four o'clock in the morning on a weekday is emergency time. <laughs> someone's died, someone's hurt, there's been a fire. And I pick up the phone, I'm like, hello? And a voice on the other end went, oh, I can't stop thinking about you. And I'm like, I'm safe, but who is this? <laughs> and she's like, it's Sarah. I was like, Sarah, are you okay? <laughs> and she's like, I'm very okay. What are you wearing? I'm like, pajamas, but they're flame retarded. What is going on? <laughs> The problem is, I have Verizon, and I live in a New York City apartment, so the reception is already very bad. And when people talk sexy, they talk very low, so it's a bit hard to understand them, because like, by the way, and I get it, I get that low voice, I get that like, this is a sexy voice. And like, not that voice exactly, obviously. <laughs> But I get that a low voice and a sexy voice because, like, I want you inside of me. It's way sexier than, like, I want you inside of me! <laughs> that is not sexy. So you have one person just, like, murmuring indistinctly, and another person very concerned about what's happening on the other end of the phone. And I finally figured out what was happening. And I said the unsexiest thing you could possibly say, apart from, like, Grandma? <laughs> I said, Sarah, if you want to actually do this correctly, you're gonna have to speak up and enunciate your words clearly. <laughs> <laughs>